A couple of big rivalry games headline this evening's schedule. I am Jason Barr. And I'm Erica Weston. And no rivalry bigger than the Oro Valley Super Bowl. Yeah, 2-0 CDO at 3-0 Ardwood Ridge. The Nighthawks have running back Nick Brawler and the Dorados. Well, they're led by a familiar name in the backfield. Elijah Carey, the younger brother of Tucson sports legend Kadeem Carey, the senior, is backing up last year's 1,000 rushing yard season. Now, Carey is a two-way player as well, so he's on the field making plays. You see him there more than he is not. First quarter, no score. Nighthawks going for it on fourth down. Heath B. Miller hits Jonah Martinez in the flat, but Carey's there to make the stop. The Nighthawks turn it over on downs. Two plays later, CDO's Zachary Eidenshank airs this one out 76 yards and hits Jose Cruz way downfield. And the Dorado strike first up 7-0. But of course, the Nighthawks would respond later in the first half. B. Miller hits Jaden Price on this 53-yard touchdown catch to even things up. Ironwood Ridge would go on to win 24-21 thanks to a late interception for their seventh straight win over CEO. Now, South Point football had beaten Tucson 22 straight seasons that is until of course last year. Yeah, the Badgers finally broke through on the road. Now Tucson trying to start a streak of its own. This game though at Kino Stadium as Gridley is still not playable. This game was close early. First quarter, the Lancers, Bijan Robinson trying to break it for a big run, makes a few moves, shakes a few tackles, and he is inside the 25 yard line. Later in the drive for South Point, Robinson is gonna take it in the end zone, but this was called back because of a penalty. This was a physical game. It was tight for a while, but South Point goes on for a shutout win, 27-0. They were trying to show that last year's loss was an aberration. All right, 2-1 Choya at 2-0 Pueblo. A couple of teams off to a good start. The Warriors trying to dance their way to a win. This was a wild one. Pueblo up 36-26 in the third here with Omar Abanez scores, the 215-pounder. Uh, it doesn't seem like there was a lot of defense in this game. It's just gone final, and Pueblo has won it. Final score, 66-46 over Troya. Wow, oh, Catalina Foothills hosting Flowing Wells. First quarter, no score. The Falcons, Chris Kowalski keeps it as he takes off for the end zone. Catalina Foothills up early, 7-0. Now, later in the first, the snap goes way over quarterback Dylan Allison's head of Flowing Wells. They couldn't recover, and the Falcons take over possession on offense. Next play, Catalina's Brandon Tamplin runs it in for the score. They would convert on the two-point conversion as well and take a 15 to nothing lead. Second quarter, same score. Flowing Wells gets on the board as Xavier Hawkins rolls into the end zone for the touchdown. Falcons still up 15 to eight. Later in the second, same score. The momentum doesn't stay long, though, as Tamplin again catches the long pass from Kowalsik. Touchdown, Catalina Foothills. Falcons win 52 to 8. And Sienega has been on a roll the last two weeks, hosting Nogales tonight. First half already up a touchdown. Jamari Joyner with a fake. He keeps it. Even faked out the camera guy there for a second. He's off. Bobcats with a 14 to nothing lead. But wait. Of course, there would be more from Joyner. He again here hits Terrell Hayward downfield. Hayward fights off a couple of defenders. He's into the end zone easily. Joyner had three touchdowns in the air tonight, a fourth one with his legs. Sienega rolls Nogales easily, winning 43 to nothing. The Arizona commit looking pretty good. Okay, I've had some trouble with this the last couple of weeks. <laughs> the last name of Miranda quarterback is Trenton Borgay, is spelled right. B O U R G E T, but it is pronounced Borgay. Confirmed it's a Official. It is the name of an area in the northwestern, northeastern, excuse me, suburbs of Paris. Yeah, Bourget plays très bien. Je parle, je parle français un petit peu. Oh, wow. Oui. Oh, yeah. si. Yeah. No? <laughs> Marana visite Sawaro tonight. Uh, the one and two Tigers against the Cougars looking for their first win of the season. First quarter, here's that guy, Bourget, showing off his right arm to Tion Simmons, who doesn't catch it at first, but stays with it, corrals it for the TD grab. Take another look in slow-mo. It is 7-0 Marana. Then in the second quarter, this time Borgay fakes the handoff. No one to throw it to. So he's going to take off and run it in. Too easy for Marana tonight. The Tigers win it over Suaro. Final score 35-7.